Okay, um, now this video is for doing terrain, all right? And terrain is pretty much one of those things that um, I've had a lot of students do, you know, boxes and all this other stuff. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating a plane. Um, you know, and the, a plane is very similar to all your game engines out there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 50 by 50, okay? And for this particular video, what I'm going to do is convert this into um, an editable poly, okay? And this only works with editable poly. Um, I put in 50 by 50 geometry, and depending on the size of your train and all this other stuff, you know, that works. Um, so I'm going to scroll all the way down to the section called Paint Deformation in the Editable Poly. And I'm going to explain this, um, this section here um, in a real real quick wet method. It's, it's very simple to do. All right, so you have push and pull and you have relax. Push and pull as is basically based on your brush settings. What it does is it goes through and as you can see paints your terrain in, in its spot. Very simple, right? So I'm going to undo that. Um, and that push and pull is based on your push and pull value, your brush size, and your brush strength. So if I'm looking at this and I've got my brush size here at 10, if I change this to say 15 and I hit enter, uh, my brush size just got bigger. Okay. If I change it to 5, my brush size, or I'm sorry, I'm using the wrong value. Um, the push pull value is how much it pulls up. The brush size, if I do 10, makes it smaller, 20 makes it bigger, and so on and so forth. The push pull value was originally at 10, and it will pull up this side. Now, if you notice, as long as I hold down and click, it'll pull up that exact value amount. And notice there will be a flat location on here. If I change it to 5 and click on it, it will only pull it up to this flat value mark, like so. So what you're doing is you're taking your brush and you can also control the strength. So at 5, at 50%, 0 0.5, it will only go up. But if I go over it, it'll go back up and kind of build up layers of that. All right, up until it hits the max point value of 5. Now, um, you it doesn't mean, though, I can't go on top of something and kind of build it up again a little bit further. This painting method creates a, a very fast, easy way to rough out the terrain. Now, you'll notice, though, with this, um, everything is this rounded um, methodology. So you can actually go into your brush options and control the curve and uh, control the strength and stuff like that. Um, it's, it's pretty much a simple layout, you know, strength, max strength, min strength. Um, stuff like that. It's pretty much a simple layout. And if you hold uh, Alt, you can actually go downward in your in your terrain. Okay. So now, one of the things that you'll notice, especially here, that you'll notice that things start stretching. In any real terrain, this would actually be created and put as a. Um, you'd actually put an object in there instead to get the rough faces of the, the um, terrain engine or they would manipulate it so that it doesn't go up as much and you don't stretch these faces here okay but essentially this is um, how you do how you do a basic terrain paint all right now if you'll notice that this terrain looks all smooth and personally it's it's kind of rolling hills type of thing now, if you don't like that, and if you want more of a rockier face, you can go off of your edit poly, which I'm on there. Okay, so go off your edit poly and add a noise modifier. Adding the noise modifier will give you, I'm just going to raise some values here, and I'm just going to do fractal, 
and I'm going to raise the values like so. So we can control our roughness so you can get a more rough or less rough feeling to this. All right. And that gives you that ability to add that in there. And you can always collapse this and go back and smooth out and paint. But that gives you a nice rough terrain and it, and it gives you a uh, nice facing of what you're, you're going to work with. Now, of course, you know, say I'm going to go in here and col I'll collapse all just to get some of that geometry in there. I'm going to go back down into the paint. And I'll go into relax and I'll kind of smooth out maybe some of these valleys here. Maybe there's a river going around here and you want a smoother value system. You can always also go back in and, you know, push pull like so. All right. And of course, you know, play with the, the brush values. Now, if you notice when I painted, it went to the side here. So if I undo this and go to transform normals only in the X view, oops, forgot to hold out, and then paint, it will paint straight down. So that'll actually control your, your value system there as well. All right, but this is a better way to paint terrain. And I'll just show you guys like this and take off my grid. So that's a better way to paint your terrain and get a, a much more organized um, of what you want terrain system in there. And of course, I did this on a small values, value scale. Um, normally, this, you know, depending on the, on the buildings, the size, the scale of everything, you know, this could be uh, a whole lot bigger. All right, I hope that helps.